Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kate Van Leuven. I know this is bad lighting, but I just got back from New York and I want to show you what I got while I was in New York, but I also want to do it in a timely manner so that I can actually like open up these products and use them and not have to wait to film this. Subscribe? I don't know. Your choice. I'm going to get straight into the video because why not? I went to a lot of stationery stores. This is going to be a haul of Japanese skincare and Japanese stationery, mostly stationery. Yeah. Actually, the first store I went to was not Japanese, but some of the brands inside of it were Japanese or or stuff like that. Um, I'm actually gonna start out with the skincare, I think. So the first thing I picked up from this place, the place was called like Shibuya La, and it was also like in collaboration with like something Tokyo. Um, I think I have a video of the bag and I'll insert it and so you can read it yourself. But I got this cleanser. It is the Naive Cleanser by Gracie. It's a face cleanser and this is what it looks like. It's all in Japanese, so I'm working on learning japanese but i do not know japanese let's make that clear um the next thing i got was this other cleanser it's a baking soda cleansing milk so this was so this was intriguing for me here's what it looks like yeah i'm really excited about that and yeah they're both cleansers and the next one is also a cleanser the thing is, cleansers are the thing that I have the least of. So this is um, the Natural Aqua Gel from Cure. This is very highly rated, so I've heard of it before, and it had its own little display because it's so highly rated. Here's what it looks like. In the display pictures, it showed like the skin, the dead skin coming off. It looks so satisfying. The next item is another top rated item. It is this lip balm by DHC. It's their lip cream. Here's what it looks like. And then I got two bath bombs. They're called bath balls, but whatever. This one is a Shiba one. It's a thank you one. And it was just so cute. The packaging was so cute. Yeah, actually, that's a little better of lighting, I think. Um, But the second bath ball I got is this one. I think it's a mystery one because it has like different faces. But it's just really cute. It says Yoshi Yoshi stamp. Yoshi stamp. So that was all from that store. But I went to a different store and it was just like a random place. Um, it was like odd something. I got a bamboo toothbrush because I wanted to get one. And so I was going to wait if I ever went to like Whole Foods or something. But I found it here. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. But it, I think it comes with two. Now into the actual stationary stuff. Which, this is what I'm sure y'all are here for. Okay, so let's start with Kuno Kaniya. I went to a Japanese bookstore in New York called Kuno Kaniya. It has three stories and the bottom story, like the basement, is just filled with stuff, with stationery. This was the most expensive store, so if you have to narrow down like the things you have to do in New York, you might want to skip this one just because it was so expensive um it's also a great place to find a lot of japanese stationery the first thing is these post-it notes they have cats on them i really love these and i got checklist sticky notes i got a cat pin it's in a bag it's so cute i have a pin collection so i like to get pins the next thing is washi tape i got this which this washi tape is for checklists. Can't really see anything about it, but it has a little cat shape. So you can check things off, it's so cute. And then this one, it has flowers and it's for to put the date in. I don't know, it's really cute. Just like the day of the month. So for the washi tapes I got, I got this one which has cats on it and some women. This one has like craft supplies. This one has all different kinds of polka dots in like orange and pink and yellow. And then I have these two which came in boxes. One of sprinkles and I have like duct tapes version of this and it just looks a lot worse. And so now I have the washi tape version and I got blue stripes. And then I found this really cool thing which you clip this onto your washi tape roll and that way you can rip it off neatly. And and then we were in Chelsea Square, so I got a washi tape from a bookstore there. It was an empty washi tape, and it was in collaboration with Paul Cox. And this one is cool. It's in, like, neon colors, and it has different doodles, drawings on it. And also in Chelsea Square, 
it was in a store i think it was a chinese store also i forgot before we go on to the next healthy market store in kuno kenia i did get a little tin that is so cute it has hats and a dog so yeah i almost forgot that it's because i was i had stuff in it from this one store i got two things i got a little lucky cat because i love lucky cats and then i got a statue of liberty pin but the face is a dumpling a little dumpling statue of liberty i mean i hope you can like see that there was a candy store near the apartment we were staying in and so i got a pusheen mystery enamel pin and i got a pusheen keychain it has a mini fluffy to go with the normal so cute the pin is somewhere buried in here so i'm going to show you guys the pin in a second but it was different animal pusheens and so the next door is muji and i think muji was my favorite so from muji i got this paper booklet i'm not going to use it as a notebook i'm going to use just the paper but i love the paper i love how they use like craft paper and this one is lined and then i did get a notebook from them it's thin I love how they're thin lines. One time I talked about how like I'm kind of picky with my notebooks and I love these. So then I also got weekly sticky notes. So it has a layout of the week. I love these and I was sad that they didn't have the monthly ones as well. But I'm glad that they had the weekday one rather than it just being the monthly ones. And then I got checklist ones. I love checklists. I got two pens from Muji because it is Muji. I got their point .38. Didn't know that small existed. It's literally so small wait i guess i ha i have had a point three but it just seemed so small so i was like um yeah i'm sold then i got a clicky one as well both in black and i got their toothbrush holder and i love it it's in the yellowish color oh my god another thing i forgot from kino kanua wait kino kanuya kin kino kinia oh my god I get a mechanical pencil just a really cute one Oh my god, I almost forgot, like, the main portion. So, I got this bag. I just love the material or something. It was really cool. I got the tape glue, and then I got a backup cartridge. I got the little sticky notes with the craft paper that I love. I got a little mini notepad, and then I got small little envelopes. So, I think that's everything that I got from Muji. And then, the last store that I'm talking about is CW Pencil Enterprise. So I got this bag. It's blue and has like a beigeish yellow top to it. This store was so cute. I got an individual sticker, which this was $4, but like it was so cute. So I couldn't resist. So I'm going to have to put it on something that I love and will have for a long time. It is this little take out bag. Um, yeah, it's a sticker. Since this was CW Pencil Enterprise, I got two pencils. The first one is a recycled pencil and it's, you can see like the rings. I mean, you're not gonna be able to see it but when you look at the pencil you can see the rings of paper with how they rolled it so it has strawberries on it and this one the gold one has chinese characters on the side and i heard the person talking about it and china they're like passed out for good luck for exams and that was really cool so if you're from there you know what i'm talking about and if you're not google it at the front they had a little bin of free stuff so i had to take advantage of it i got a little eraser that claims to be dust free and then i got a mini sharpener just in case i need to sharpen my new pencils on the go also this is their sticker super cute here's the bag again really excited about the bag i love these like mesh bags so yeah um that is it for this haul that is all the stationery and skincare that i got on my trip to new york hopefully you enjoy this video if you did give it a like and subscribe down below also i have a video of my whole travels in new york this was my first time in new york if you want to see that and like see the actual stores because i got some footage there then you can go watch that I'm sure it's in the description pretty easy to find on my channel and i will see you in my next video bye